All right, guys. So I wanted to talk about the the compatibility issues with uh, Windows 11. So, as most of you guys know, obviously the uh, Microsoft you know dropped Windows 11 uh, uh, via an announcement. So nobody really knew exactly what was going to happen in, th with us thinking that you know it's going to be just Windows 10. So Windows 11 has a lot of good features with it. Um, but there are some compatibility issues with older PCs, older software, older drivers, or older basically everything. So one, just want to give a little bit of uh, like a recommendation as well as clarification on exactly how that is supposed to work. So first things first, we want to talk about the, the software side of it. Um, uh, the, the 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 DOS software um, first. So obviously you guys know about uh, Reason, Pro Tools, Sony Ads Pro, Reaper, Ableton, and a few of those I can't think of off my top right uh, off the top of my head right now. But there seems to be a few compatibility issues with most of the computer so uh, the 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 DOS software except for Ableton. That one just so happens to be stable um, in compatibility mode. Um, as far as like Reason 12 and QBase and all the rest of them, there are some GUI issues with that along with some of the VZ VSTs. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend to upgrade to Windows 11 just yet. And with my background being in computers, and I'm, I service about 20,000 um, computers in my lifetime, there's also some hardware issues with Windows 11 as well. So any, any PC that's older than... I say about three years, four years, maybe like somewhere around there. If you have like a four-year-old PC, it's not going to work for Windows 11. Um, so they made significant upgrades um, to where like all the new model PCs. You know, if you buy a computer like maybe three or four months ago, it might just work on that. So there's a lot of a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, hardware issues, um, and it does count come down to the drivers. So it's a, compa it's a, a compatibility issue is a big big thing it, it basically is night and day to um, making sure something is running correctly so definitely would not recommend upgrading to Windows 11 until the drivers are worked out and the hardware actually works the way it should I like say for example if the uh, if you have like a Mackie or M audio or Behringer or Focusrite audio interface it seems to work fine in 7 8 and 10 but it's, it has it goes in and out. It has humming issues when it comes to win, uh, Windows 11. Now, with that said, it comes back to the drivers. So we don't know exactly how it's going to actually work with the the audio interface as well as the software. So it might block the drivers. It might block the the software itself, and it may or may not cause uh, BSOD. So. I would say to hold off on Windows 11 for the time being until those gets worked out. The uh, I say about 12 to 18 months after the uh, software gets released. So obviously Microsoft's not doing service packs anymore, so they're taking extra, extra, extra time to make sure that the stable version of Windows 11 is working the way it should. So a lot of third-party stuff is still has yet to catch up to. Um, make sure that the drivers are working correctly. So this applies to pretty much all the all, all the hardware side of audio production is working. So anything that pretty much has a USB cord to it, not including Bluetooth or Wi-Fi connected devices, it's mainly just USB, uh, USB A, USB C, uh, USB um, two, and USB C. Obviously, there are going to be some issues with that uh, as far as like your drivers go. So because they may may not may or may not recognize. Uh, some of the older devices that most most of us musicians have so but if it's on bluetooth which i still wouldn't recommend um it, sh it should be fine because I, re I don't recommend bluetooth um as far as like music production goes because it, it does generate a lot a lot of latency latency and you might miss you might miss something that um otherwise you would catch you know when you have like a, a, a wired piece of equipment so i would say to wait for now as far as like upgrading to Windows 11 and then reinstalling all the programs I mean it will automatically it will still automatically keep the data but the, like I said the compatibility 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 may still be an issue so if you guys are thinking about upgrading to Windows 11 I would say to wait um, as far as like the film production programs they are stable because Adobe and DaVinci and all the rest of them had some sort of uh, advanced notice plus they're big companies so they can pour more money into it 
but some of the more smaller companies like you know Steinberg and all them, it's it's still a little bit of big of an issue. So so yeah, I hope that hopefully this helps. Uh, so again, I wouldn't recommend upgrading to Windows 11 just yet. So hopefully this video helps and kind of influences the decision that you may have to upgrade to, to Windows 11. Just delay it because like I said, there is some driver issues, there is some compatibility issues, there's some GUI issues, there's a lot of hardware issues as well because a lot of third party stuff is built for, or should I say, just caught up with Windows 10. Um, within about two or three years so it's going to take a while before it's I would say the exact same two or three years before it gets up, most everything gets upgraded to Windows 11 anyway so now as far as Windows 11 goes um, I do like the GUI I do like the uh, layout and how, how they have the Windows the start menu in the middle along with the rest of them I thought that was actually you know I don't want to say clever but intuitive but uh, largely it's not just about Windows 11. It's not about just the office suite that Microsoft provides. It's mainly a lot of businesses out there and um, a lot of music productions are, uh, out there rely on third party software and the software has to work and the hardware has to work with Windows 11. So that's why a lot of people are, I don't want to say neglecting the update is just a lot of new hardware that comes out aren't, isn't, isn't necessarily going to be uh, compatible like that. So. All right, guys, um, hopefully this, like I say, influences the decision to upgrade. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much about it. All right, guys, I will see you guys in the next video.